Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode going through the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge, KringleCon 2021, or their fourth KringleCon put out as a free educational training exercise and activity from Sands. So, uh, hey, without any further ado, let's just dive into it. We've been having a lot of fun in the last couple of exercises. We just finished up Objective 7, which was a bit of a whirlwind. We did that in two parts because it was getting late and I just had to sleep. <laughs> uh, but now we're moving on to the, a new day and now we're taking on Objective number 8, Kerb roasting on an open fire uh, and this is all the way up in difficulty here so we're going to see what we're up against it says obtain the secret slay research document from a host on the elf university domain what's the first secret ingredient santa urges each elf and reindeer to consider for a, wild, a wonderful holiday season start by registering as a student on the elf U portal you'll want to find eve snowshoes in santa's office for hints all right so let's go ahead and find um you know that hint first and hey congratulations you've finished all these can i yeah i'll tweet this might as well we'll we'll, we'll pump the stock <laughs> there we go can i tringle that tweet kringle con good stuff all righty uh what are the other things that we have new objectives yep uh a new story that would have unlocked okay so what's next here yeah, let's go talk to Eve Snowshoes in Santa's office. Let's go ahead and teleport over to Santa's office. And let's go see what Eve is up to. What's up, Eve? Ho, ho, no is one of the Cranberry Pie Terminal challenges that we'll work with. What does Eve have to say? Hey there, how's it going? I'm Eve Snowshoes. Lately, I've been spending a lot of cycles worrying about what's going on next door. Before that, I was checking out Fail to Ban. It's the slick log scanning tool for Apache web servers. If you can complete this terminal challenge, I'll be happy to give you some things I learned about Kerber roasting and Active Directory permissions. Ooh, why don't you do some work with Fail to Ban on this Cranberry, cranberry Pie terminal first, and then we'll talk about Kerber roasting and Active Directory. All right, so let's go see what we're up against. We'll go ahead and click on this Cranberry Pie challenge. It'll go ahead and load here. Santa's elves are working 24-7 to manually look through logs, identify malicious IP addresses, and then block them. We need your help to automate this so the elves can get back to making presents. Can you configure fail to ban to detect and block the bad IP addresses? You must monitor for new log entries in var log ho ho no dot log. If an IP address generates 10 or more failure messages within an hour, then it must be added to the naughty list by running naughty list add in the IP address. Okay. You can also remove an entry with naughty list del. And you can check which IPs are currently on the naughty list by running naughty list list. Good enough. You'll be rewarded if you can correctly identify all the malicious IPs with the fail to ban filter and etc. fail to ban filter D and action to ban and unban and etc. fail to ban action D. Oh, and a custom jail and etc. fail to ban jail D. Don't add any nice IPs to the naughty list. Important note, fail to ban won't rescan any logs that it has already seen. That means you won't automatically process the log file each time you make a change to the fail to ban config. When needed, run naughty list refresh to resample the log file and tell fail to ban to reprocess it. Okay. I am not familiar with working with fail to ban, so we're gonna see what we're up against. Do, oh goodness. So these are all of the fail to ban logs or configuration files. Do we need to create a new one? Yeah. Or are there, is there one already set for like this? <laughs> it doesn't look like there is. How am I supposed to do this? Um, I guess let's take an example. I'll use like pro FTPD. Can I cat out that? Let's, let's move into this directory. First of all, let's cat that out. Oh goodness. And that's the gist. I don't know the syntax whatsoever. Looks like it works off of regular expressions. What does our naughty list command do? Do I need to specify slash root? It is in slash root. That's annoying. 
but okay. If I use refresh, well, let's, let's use list first. Dumping the contents of the naughty list. There are zero addresses on the naughty list, okay. If I were to refresh, log file refreshed, it may fail to ban a few moments. What the heck? Why does that just drop me? Does that do that all the time? Hello? <laughs> Why did you just decide to kill my terminal challenge? Okay. Is it back? Is it broken? Oh, there's my cursor. Okay. Uh, does that do that every time? I sure hope not. Mm, no. Whatever. Okay, so let's let's check out var log ho ho no. And we have a lot. We're looking for failed logins within 10 minutes, is that right? Or 100? What what was our tasking for the message of the day? Oh, what? No, it's in the readme. Oh, it's also in this current directory because I guess I'm in the home directory. If an IP generates 10 or more failure messages within an hour, then it must be added to the naughty list by running that. What are you doing? Is there something going on? Are there notifications for like maintenance right now? Or is it just giving up? Uh, you can run fail to ban. I'm looking through the chat here just to read what other folks have been saying. You, do you have to create the fail to ban files at the naughty list? To do that. Okay, so restarting the service and then running refresh might work. Hmm. Oh, folks are also seeing the transport errors. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, people are saying, okay. Stuff breaks, so try and copy everything. Let's try and just do this locally then, I suppose. If it will let me. That's kind of frustrating, though. If I base 64 that... Can I copy this all? Oof. Let's scroll way, way up. Let's see if it'll let me just exfil this thing. Granted, I probably didn't need to base64 encode this. I could have just copied <laughs> it. Um, because there's a lot in this. Yeah, and so much so that it won't let me do it. The terminal is just too big. That's frustrating. Too many, too many lines. In which case, can I even receive the top of the file or no, if I try to copy and paste this? And are these seconds or are these hours in the timestamp? I'm, I'm gonna assume those are seconds. But, hello, oh my goodness. I don't have less, do I have more at least? I do, oh goodness, it starts from seven. So there's a lot of time. Grr. So I guess we could start going from seven to 11 and grepping for strictly that time period. Um, okay, and this only goes for this specific day. So that works. Can I just open a little window here for me to work in? I want to be able to cat var log 
ho ho no dot log or, or that is that is what i just ran yeah oh sorry um and let's grep for 2021 12 16 zero seven onward and that will work and we'll only get that specific hour in the output now we want to look for the things that fail 10 times so what we could do is grep for failed login for each IP address and let's cut and receive only fields one, two, three. Three we want to keep. Three, four, five, six. So uh, our delimiter should be spaces, and let's use, use fields three to six, and we get all of those IP addresses. Yeah? Now we could be able to see those. Uh, and let's copy that syntax before I lose it from this thing just dying because I want to eventually be able to pass this to sort and w count, All right? So sort and unique taxi to get the count of these. Yep, so the 10 or more IP addresses that we need to chop off are 14, 14, 10, 20, and 15. So let's steal each of these. Oh, and goodness, I, I keep running back and forth. You know what, let me let me do this in an actual sublime text window within the virtual machine rather than trying to do this on my host. So let's close this folder. And let's get into HHC as a directory and let's call this ho ho no. Ho ho no's readme can be this file. Um, and let me grab this syntax that I had up here and close this window. So each of these, let's just grab all of this. And then we can remove the things that don't have 20 occurrences or 10 or more. It is, it is 10 or more, correct? I'm going to assume. Okay, the readme one more time. Yep, 10 or more. So with that said, now we can do this for the next hour. So let's do this for eight and we'll do this all the way to the 11th um maybe we could actually loop this could i do that could i do i yeah i mean that would work if i did a four seven well no, it'll, I'm trying to think of like within the context of one command running in the loop, would it actually be able to uh, retrieve the proper number? And I believe it would. Let's do it done here and let's use a specific hour. Uh, and let's go for some zero seven so we can keep that text in, in present. So now let's spit this in there. And now we have a lot of these and we can sort, oh no, we want to sort W count in each of those outputs or unique taxi, sorry, to get the count. That looks good. Spit this out and now we can look for things that are 10 or more. Awesome, 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 awesome. There's a lot of these entries. Oh, I missed a couple. Copy and paste this. Let's put this in a new window because I want to be able to search and remove the lines that have all this and then a number and then a space because it, we need the double digits. So now if I did a new line, new line, we can just replace those. Um, and let's actually just do a things that start with a new line and are only a new line. Let's remove all of those with the replace all. There we go. Now we have double digits or more for each potential hour. And all of that output can be saved. And we only want to take the IP addresses onward. So I'm gonna do some 
multiple cursor magic and use the dot slash naughty list add on each of these. Um, and now some of these are going to be unique on their own. Are they not? I think they would be. So how about let's run commands.txt and then in a terminal, like on our own local host, let's go in there. Oh, oh, oh no, we'll cut out the commands and we'll do a sort. Cool, so there are a couple duplicates and let's just run unique on that output. So this is it. Those are the only ones that we're gonna end up working with. Is that fair to say? We'll slap that in. And then we can try and enter each of these within the window here. Oh, come on. How do you not have, naughty list is not in the current, oh, I'm, I have a notly list. I'm stupid. Hello. Let's let's modify that super quick. I'm gonna use the multiple cursors and just call that naughty list. There we go. Run all these, those have all been added now. And I wanna use naughty list, or I guess the service fail to ban restart. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, did it come back? No, it's super dead. What is happening? <laughs> okay. So we need to restart it and then run refresh to reprocess stuff. Is that right? So let's spit all those in there and let's use service fail to ban restart. I'll let that restart itself. And then dot slash naughty list refresh. Log file refreshed. It may take fail to ban a few moments to process. Okay. How do I know that I've succeeded? Or if I have or if I haven't. Do I need to create these? I'm I'm sure that I do. Hmm. Are these updating like on the fly, by the way? I can't tell. I think they are. Which is frustrating. But. I don't know. I guess you have to move quick. Right? Maybe we could just cut this up and make it all an entry. Because if we're to run this command, this retrieves all of those, but we wanna grep out the things that have a space character all of those previous times, right? Those ones that had six characters, six space characters at the start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we'll always get single or double digits. So that would work to be able to cut these up. That works. In which case we could then cut each of these and get the, you know what, let's rev this and just get the very, very first line and rev it back. So that way we just get the IP address specifically. And then we could do a while loop while do done, or sorry, while do, uh, or sorry, <laughs> I can't type or talk, while read line do root naughty list add the line in the IP address, in which case we could start by actually doing a root naughty list clear. So at any point in time, we'll always be getting the absolute updated list yeah da, 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 da. if it says it's already added the naughty list doesn't have it doesn't have any issues does it no 
So that's fine. And does Naughty List refresh need to be ran every time? Maybe that's it. Let's run Naughty List refresh first. And then clear. And now we have this disgusting one liner <laughs> uh, that will properly retrieve and grab every single value as needed. But I'm not sure if that's doing what it's supposed to do for the sake of why is it is it, it no it clears it but it's all it thinks it's all already there as i'm adding it that's kind of whack if i run clear and then list no no, no. Whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'm that worried if it's still just getting the nine IP addresses that I kind of would have seen to begin with. Oh, so now it sees a couple extras because it's probably seeing another error. But fail to ban is not doing what it's supposed to do. Or maybe it's not. Um... Does fail to ban just automatically get all this stuff? Like as I'm reading this, I want to, or do I just have to hand write those configuration files? Automate security response by creating your own naughty list. Hmm. Does fail to ban regex, does that work as a command? Fail to ban regex is a thing. What do I do this? How do I do this? You know what? Uh, uh, to save myself from the sanity, let's actually uh, sort unique on the IP addresses that we find so I don't have to see the, oh, it's already added to the list. Crap. I don't want to see that. Hello? Oh, come on. Why is it doing it twice? It's not supposed to do that. Yeah, none of those are being added multiple times. It, it, it just says it's already added. That's weird. It's supposed to clear it, so whatever. I'm good with that, I guess. I'm still not following what I'm supposed to do with fail to ban, and that makes me feel like an idiot. Is it creating 
a file in here for me or no? I feel like I'm supposed to write one myself. There is no ho ho no or something. Let me go watch that video and see if there's clarity on what this is supposed to be doing here. So we see the fail to ban methodology here. Classic fail to bin config guide to create a jail for SSH. Oh, so ban time can be specified for an hour? No, no, no. If there are more than 10 failed logins from the same source within 15 minutes, then block that IP for one hour. So what we need is some service name, right? Enabled should be true. Uh, max retry. They failed 10 times. Find time should be one hour. And ban time should be what? Does it specify? Can I, can I move to a different tab, please? Will you let me? Oh, I'm in a whole new window. What the heck? Or did it bring me just to that page? That's frustrating go back to this okay does it say for how long I should ban them or just block them in general block them how do I block in general bans are time limited <laughs> okay, what do I... Yeah, what if I need to do something that isn't listed in filter.d? What if I want to perform an action that isn't listed in action.d? So if we create a uh, custom filter, regular expressions, fail regex, regular expression to match events, which should contribute towards a ban. Indicate where the IP host name can be found with host. Okay. Fail regex equals failed attempt for Login user from a host. That sounds about right, right? And we'll write this. So here, this should be config syntax down below. And then we'll also need action syntax. Oh no, I was looking at filter syntax. I'm assuming this INI file format needs a definition. Dude, stop moving your slides. Sorry, <laughs> YouTube, just, just fine. And what were the original failed login from? FF stop. Let's go verify what it actually said cat var log ho ho no we are looking for failed login from for user yeah okay and that needs to be represented by host it looks like given a user The regular expressions can just be anything. If 
I grep for failed, that's the only syntax that we see, right? Yeah. So the only structure is for a user from a host name. So for dot slash anything, really. And, ooh, when we create a custom action, like to ban someone or unban someone, we just create a file there. And IP is replaced with the attacker's IP. How do I want to make a custom jail? Define a log path to point to your log file. Are we creating a specific log file? Oh, so jail is where that's set up? Is that what it told us at the very beginning? Like start with the jail? No. Hmm. Okay. What is the point of the naughty list then? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So I'm missing, I'm missing the jail in action. So let's set that up. Let's make, etc. fail to ban, and let's make this a command we can copy and paste. We'll cat uh, from EOF into fail to ban. Uh, this should be a specific jail, I'm gonna assume. Because that looks like the same syntax that I'm seeing on the on the video there. Jail dot d ho ho no dot conf. We'll call this ho ho no enabled as true. Log path. I think is supposed to be what we're specifically looking at. Max find time should be ten one hour. Max retry should be ten. Ban time should be thirty minutes or a crazy amount of time. One hour is fine, but we'll need a specific filter. So the filter can be ho ho no and action. Let's let's call that filter. And action can be ho ho no action. Okay. but our filters need to be set up first. I'm gonna assume. So let's do this for the filter. Um, oh, let's actually add the EOF entry here. So that is a fine copy and paste line. We'll call that filter and I'm gonna assume those should match. Yeah. And that's all we kind of need. Just the regular expression fails. Can I use that in the command, like fail to ban regex and see if it works? Let's try it. 
I need to get back to the actual terminal. That works now. And now we should have that specific syntax to use, right? Oh, I need to run ls. I need to run cat, display it, see if it actually works. So we can use fail to ban regex given a specific config file. Or no, 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 just a config on a given log. Oh, and it also takes the regex. I mean, we can just use that then, can we not? I think so. Yeah, let's try it. So we want to run it without the config on var log ho ho no, correct? Given our regular expression here. And that didn't find anything. Failed login from host for, for oh, do I have the word for twice in there? Still doesn't get anything. Why? What? Is it because the dates that I need to actually configure? How about modifying that syntax a little bit? Oh, 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 I'm using a caret to indicate the start of the line, and it's totally not. There we go. Now it's hitting a lot. Cool. So I was just wrong in adding that caret. It would it would need a timestamp, but does fail to ban need the timestamp configured? I feel like it just needs the regex. Does it not? The filter should be able to track those down. It probably needs the timestamp, though, to be able to note the date. So the filters are based off of regex. But the action is supposed to ban them. Um... Is, is this the same syntax that I need? Putting things in a jail or not? Like, will IP tables just kind of do this? There's got to be some examples of that already. Let's move into that. Fail to ban actions.d. Are there any examples? Yeah, there's an IP tables one. Oh, goodness. That actually has a lot <laughs> in there. Where is a fine example? Oh, badips.conf. Oh. Interesting. Oh, it reports an IP address. By once it is banned, it will try to actually tell it. That's interesting. Tell it to like an online resource. I gotcha. I follow. I feel like I should just be using the syntax here though. Yeah, where we just create a new source IP address and reject all packets from it. Insert or delete or removed and all those. I feel like that's what we need. So let's try and let's try and steal that syntax. <laughs> we need a ho 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 action in our action.d and my filter one up here is actually kind of what I needed to supply. That I I, I looks like I, I put that in the wrong place and still had the filter wrong. So we should probably just restart that service. 
But let's say this is an action and we need to set our action start to just use that IP table syntax. So IP tables attack N to use our ho ho no jail. Yeah. And I'm just calling it ho ho no, in which case. Set those to return, allegedly. Set the input return. And then we need to be actually setting the band commands. So let's grab this top line and modify that. Action ban can be set it to the jail one tack S and the IP will be filled in. And then we set the action to go ahead and reject those. Oh, and this last one should actually say ho ho no to add the ho ho no jail. Yeah, I think so. And action unban would delete this. And action stop. Action stop should use the same kind of structure as this above, I believe. Cool. Um, and let's add another space in there, I guess. Uh, it looks like it actually doesn't matter how many spaces you have. So let's just be annoying and put all these on one line or like in line vertically. Let's use IP tables tack F to flush, and then let's use X on ho ho no. And I believe that's it. So we set up our filter for our failed logins. We set up some actions to be able to stop these based off of a jail that we configure. And the jail uses a specific filter and action all defined. So this should be all that we need, right? And then we'll go ahead and grab our magic looper. And let's restart the service. Service fail to ban restart and run our refresh. So this should create all the files for us, given that they're in the right place. Grab all the things that are necessary and do it, I think. Oh gosh, no section definition? What does that even mean? Config reader, no section definition? Uh, this is the filter. The filter definition is the thing that uses the syntax definition, correct? Or the action. All of these, all of these need to have definition as the INI header, except for my jail. Okay. So the jail and the action need definition. But it looks like we were actually doing it right. It looks like we it was adding things. So let's try that again. Sort of new container. Slap this all in. And log file refreshed. It may take fail to ban a few moments to reprocess. I have no idea if this is doing what it's supposed to do or not. Nope. <laughs> Seemingly not. What is going on with var log ho ho no no? Am I wrong in the hours that we need? Should we have started with eight? Yeah, we should. In which case we're probably going now to 12, which we are, and that might get some extras. So what I think I can honestly do is go from zero to 24 
and this might be disgusting, but it will grab everything in the current time. Zero to 23, right? For the hours. And I don't know if I'm supposed to do this backwards or if I am doing this backwards. All of these are now being added to the naughty list. We've configured, failed to ban, and uh, added a jail, added a regex, but it's not determining the date. And that might be an issue because it needs to be able to determine that to be able to do this filter, right? I think. Like, so otherwise, we're adding these to the naughty list, but I still don't know what the naughty list is doing. I don't think it's doing anything. Like, <laughs> It's just a weird front end. Okay. Yeah. What is a uh, naughty list? It's a binary. It's using it's a it's a python binary? What the heck? Oh no, 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 it has some C code in there. Weird. Okay. I don't care to dig into that and understand what it's doing. I think I'm just missing the date. So fail to ban on its own for regex. We need to be able to get the date. Can it determine the date? Or will it know by default or anything? Let's try and grab the syntax again. And let's use that fail to ban command. Fail to ban regex, this guy, as our regex on var log, ho ho no. And this tells us that we see entries. It has a lot, to be honest. But Tells us what to ignore. However, we only need failed ones. I don't know what the other options might be. Just to like figure out the date. It's not telling me what the date is. Date template hates, number of hits, and date format. Those are, it, it got the correct year, month, day, hour, minute, second, 24, so, so that it gets the correct number. Yeah. In which case it would be able to determine all this. So is there something still wrong? What is my filter.d, ho ho no filter, fail regex, failed login from host for anything. I don't know if that's working. Well, we know from the regex testing that it is working. What about our action? Uh, that needs to be action. Yeah. I think the jail is the name that would go there, which is what we set. And that syntax is the same as what we saw previously, is it not? Let me verify I had that syntax right. 
IP tables tag N, jail name. IP tables tag capital A, jail name, return. IP tables tag I, input, ban and unban. Tag I, custom jail one, tag S, IP, tag J, reject. Unban tag D, custom jail, tag S, IP, tag J, reject. Action stop. IP tables tag D, input, tag J, jail name. IP tables tag F, IP tables tag X, custom jail. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Does this need to be running add them to the naughty list? Is that? So, oh my goodness, am I just being stupid? How about how about we do when we start it, we clear. So root naughty list clear. I think that's the gist. I think I need to add them. So that fail to ban adds these to the naughty list as they're going. IP. And unban is to delete. And that is why I follow. I understand. And you probably need to clear just when you're done, as I'm assuming. I think that's the gist. So that way we don't actually need to run that loop that we just did. We just, we're just setting these files. We did all that for nothing. <laughs> Is that the gimmick? Let's try it. Hello? <laughs> Terminal service, please. Let's refresh the page. Ah. Let's go, let's do this. Log file refreshed, it may take fail to bin a few moments. Now it's continuously adding things to the log file. Good. Is it missing things? Oh gosh, what? Wait, what, <laughs> what did you do? Okay, correctly identify all the malicious IPs with a fail to ban filter and a set of fail to ban filter D, which is what we're doing based off the regex. An action to ban and unban in action.d and a custom jail. A jail is based off of this log path using that filter, which we saw working, and the action we saw working. I think that's everything. Why would that not work? Other than the transport thing being stupid. Ugh. This container's borked, man. Come on, please work. Slap that all in there. Run and stop and start fail to ban. Naughty list is cleared. When you refresh the log file, now it's adding it all in there. Why is it not working? We, oh my gosh. Stop, just give up. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you need to write a regex for date and time. Because fail to ban regex automatically knows what it's doing, right? Well, I would think there would be a default, like for the actual service itself. So let's run this awful parser loop and it adds these one two three four five six seven eight say about eight of these right 
And then when we set up our filters, our actions, and our jails, when we run all this, oh my goodness. One, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did we miss one? Did we miss eight, nine? The very, very last one? Or did it already get that? No, it got it. There should have been plenty there. Hmm. Literally, every time I try to refresh the log file, it dies. And I'm so frustrated. Okay. Let's go let's go look in the Discord for the fools that might have been struggling with this just as well. Okay. So scrolling through this, I think I am missing some of the potential uh, kinds of bad traffic. Oh, goodness. I'm going to be wrestling with this stupid transport error the entire night. Please. Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Why, why, why? I guess I'll just pause the recording until I get this thing to wake up. Because I feel like I just like broke it entirely at this point. I don't know how or why, but it is not wanting to come back. If I F12 and see like what Docker instance it tries to connect to. Um, it takes me to this. Can I just go to this in a different page or does it die? No, it's finally here. Thank God. Okay, so let's let's just use this for the time being. And let's cat the ho 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 log because there are different kinds of failure messages like the invalid one failed and invalid heartbeat i'm assuming is is also wrong invalid heartbeat from something i think maybe And that heartbeat, is that always delta? Valid heartbeat, log in successfully, unsuccessfully. Are there are there any unsuccessful ones? Oh yeah, a malform request is another bad entry, it looks like. And someone said there were four different types. So, Let's figure out these regex syntax portions. And there might be another kind somewhere. Mm. Ooh, rejected due to unknown username. And that is bad just as well. Gotcha. Okay. So let's be lazy for this regular expression uh, from host. Um, host failed login from host for this and login from host. We can make all of these end line character. Let me grep for that invalid heartbeat because I feel like Delta, oh, sorry. 
Oh, yep, 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 it varies. It varies. Cool. So that's good to use a regular expression there. And the dates, I really don't think we need to worry about. I got to be honest. But we totally need each of these. I feel like that's fine. I also saw that we don't need start or stop. We just need ban and unban. Let's see if this works for us. If I clear the screen and just let it go, will this be any better for me? Log file refreshed, it might take a few seconds to process it, add it, and there we go. And that's all it needed. Cool, so I've done it now in the external Docker instance, but I need to make sure it actually runs within the game. So I just am now like banking on the fact that this actually loads and thank goodness it does. So we can slap all this in, restart it and let it run and then it should properly add all the IP addresses. And finally, eventually, we win. Oh my goodness. That took significantly longer than it should have, primarily because I was probably moving too quick, being stupid uh, and not looking at everything. I just read, oh, things that failed and not uh, other things that might have other been potentially you know, bad. Uh, also some quick learning on failed to ban syntax and watching that video and understanding how that all pieces together. But that was cool. That was neat. I had not done that before. I haven't set up or played with failed to ban, surprisingly. <laughs> but I'm glad we got that one done. And that is going to be enough of a hint to bring us into the next... Uh, let's tweet this. <laughs> bring us into the next game, next objective. So let's go talk to Eve and then leave that as a cliffhanger for what the next video will be on. Thanks for the help. How'd you like to know about Kerber roasting and Active Directory permissions abuse? It's a great talk by Chris Davis. A lot of resources to learn more about Kerber roasting specifically. If you have any trouble finding the domain controller, remember that when not running as root, and map defaults ruling. And if you try to crack hashes, you can use one rule to rule them all. Where'd you get your word list? Cool might be a great word list from the LFU website, but it will ignore digits and terms by default. Ooh. Okay, so this will be a lot of fun because it's going to be like straight Active Directory stuff with Bloodhound, native methods, and things we could use. There are a lot of hints and some other good things for this. Wow. Cool. I'm super excited for that next challenge. Uh, and let's see if we <laughs> have the brain left for it after bashing my head against the wall on that thing. Uh, all right. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you, for some reason, enjoyed this video, watching me suffer and make a fool of myself, I uh, hope you had fun. That's all. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Goodbye.